What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here with some more Tekken 7 theories for you. So let's go over what we theorized so far. First we figured out why Akuma owes Kazumi something, then we theorized on whether Akuma would fail or succeed in fulfilling his promise to Kazumi, and then I theorized on which Mishima would survive Tekken 7, and I said none of them. Using every single plot element that Harada has teased in the past, I came to the conclusion that both Kazuya and Heihachi will die, Jin will get his happy ending, and a new story arc will be formed from Jin's happy ending. He's teased Jin and Jun reuniting, mother and son, and he's also teased Xiaoyu getting married, and we all know it's gonna be to Jin. All the plot elements he's teased so far have been positive for Jin and negative for the Mishimas, so I have a feeling they're both gonna wipe each other out, and then they're gonna start on something brand new with Jin and his family that he has with Xiaoyu in the future. So let's try and figure out how everything comes together on Jin's side. Now it's pretty obvious that Jin and Xiaoyu are getting married. Xiaoyu's the only girl Jin's ever talked to. Jin's the only guy Xiaoyu's ever talked to. They have great chemistry together as characters, and even Harada himself is interested in their relationship. But how will it actually happen? How will Jin realize his feelings for Xiaoyu? Xiaoyu may have played a small role in Tekken 6, but let's think about what exactly went on. Jin was doing some pretty bad stuff. I mean, he had the right intentions to try and save the world from Azazel, but he threw the world into chaos to do it. After all that stuff, so many people want Jin's head. There was a bounty put on his head. Kazuya wants him dead. Miguel wants him dead. Half of the Tekken force, along with Lars, rebelled against him and wants him dead. Well, that is until the end when Jin reveals his intentions to Lars, but you get the point. Nobody likes Jin. Nobody except for one person. Xiaoyu. During that whole thing, Xiaoyu was always positive about Jin. She was always sure that there was still some good in him somewhere. And even though Jin may have killed Azazel, most of the people who were angry at him didn't even know his true intentions, so they're still mad at him. So what I feel like is going to happen with him for Tekken 7 is he's going to join the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7 in an attempt to defeat Kazuya and Heihachi once and for all because he still does need to end his bloodline. But he does still need to stay mostly hidden so people don't recognize him, so he dons a new hoodie to keep most of his face covered up. He needs to attract as little of attention as possible so he can get to Kazuya and Heihachi without any problems. Unfortunately, one person still recognizes him no matter what, Ling Xiaoyu. Xiaoyu finally getting a chance to talk to Jin, she explains how she still sees good in him, how she still believes in him, and how she'll always stay by his side. And I, I feel like this will actually hit Jin some sort of special way. After all he's done, someone still loves him. So I feel like Jin's gonna open up to her more, they're gonna start talking, she's gonna find out about what happened with him and his mom and Ogre and all that. Maybe Xiaoyu doesn't believe Jun is dead, maybe she'll go out and try and find her for Jin to make him happy, or maybe they'll go off together to look for her. Or maybe Jun will find and them instead. I don't know. Who knows? All we know is that they're going to end up together somehow. Jin and Xiaoyu and Jun are all going to reunite together. Now in my previous theory, I mentioned how Akuma would acquire Jin's help to defeat Heihachi, and don't worry I'm not contradicting myself, that event can easily fit between the time he reunites with Xiaoyu and then reunites with Jun. Now all this sounds fine and dandy, but there's still one gigantic obstacle in Jin's path. The Devil Gene. Wouldn't Jin not want to marry Xiaoyu and have a child with her because he fears the devil gene will carry on to his child? The answer is... <gasps> no. I mean, think about it. He'll have Xiaoyu. He'll have Jun. He'll be happy. The devil gene will be calm and suppressed. Alright, if you don't know what I'm getting at, look at Jin's Tekken 4 ending right here. He spares Heihachi because he thinks of his mother and thinks about what she would do. Then as he's flying away, look at this. It seems like such a minor detail, but Harada has hinted at some big stuff before with minor details. In Tekken 2, he hinted at both Jinpachi and Kazumi. And look at just how important they are now. So I feel like Jin will have the Devil Gene fully suppressed, and he'll be able to use it for complete good. With sort of an angelic side to it with his Kazuma blood. So with the Mishimas gone, and Jin's powers fully under control with a new family, it's the perfect ending to a story arc, and the perfect beginning to a new story arc. Well, we've done it. We've theorized the plot of Tekken 7 in three simple parts. We've gone from Akuma and Kazumi all the way to Jin's happy ending. But even though we have the plot covered, there are still some unanswered questions. We still don't know exactly where the Devil Jin came from in the first place. Hmm...